Hello everyone, in the last video we have covered the theoretical part of the breadthword search. In this video we will be implementing the BFS in Python. So we got an idea about the theoretical part of breadthword search algorithm. Now we will try to implement the BFS algorithm in Python. So we will take the same example with the same nodes and edges that is A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. So first of all we define our graph in adjacency list format. So I created a dictionary in which each vertex is storing the adjacent vertex like for the vertex A, the adjacent vertex of A are the vertex B and vertex D. From here also we can see the vertex adjacent vertex of A is B and D. And for the vertex B, the adjacent vertex are A and C. And similarly for C, the adjacent vertex is B. And similarly for all the other vertex or vertices. Now I will start implementing the actual BFS code. First of all, we will initialize all the required arrays and dictionaries. First thing is like we will keep track of all the visited nodes. For that, I will initialize an empty dictionary. To keep track of the level of each node, we will initialize an empty level dictionary or we can also call it distance dictionary. Next is parent. We also want to keep a track of the parent of each node so that we can find the minimum distance and the path from the source node to any other node in the graph. One more thing is we want to store the order of our BFS traversal in BFS traversal output list. So I will initialize it with an empty list. And next thing is queue and we have already imported the queue that is a built-in type in Python. We'll be using that. So we say q is equal to q so this will initialize an empty queue now we will do the initialization part so what we will do we will iterate over the all, all nodes in the graph so we can access all the nodes using adjacency list dot keys because we have defined our graph in adjacency list dictionary format and we will set the value of visited level and parent to the required value so first thing is visited by default initially all the nodes are not visited so we will set visited node is equal to false next is parent by default the parent of each node is null initially so we'll write none next thing is level which will store the distance from the source vertex or the level of each node so by default we are initializing it with minus one or we can initialize it also by infinity so now the initialization part is done let's try to print the values we'll print visited we will print level and next is parent so we'll run this and okay so as we can see first value is visited so for each node it is set to false for a it is false for b c d e f and all means all the nodes are initially set to false means none of the node is visited as of now next is level so by default we have set the level of each node to minus one next thing is parent parent of each node is also set to none by default okay so now we will start with the algorithm part first thing is to define our source node so our source node is a next thing is to mark the source node as visited so we will mark the node a as visited or the source node as visited so to mark source node as visited we'll write visited s is equal to true next thing is to define the level of source node as zero so we will define level of source node equal to zero next thing is parent parent will remain none because we have source node so we will not change it by default it is none and now we will add source node to q so we'll add by using q dot put s now we'll start the while loop so we'll continue this while loop until and unless our q is not empty so we'll write while not q dot empty first part of our algorithm is to pop the leftmost element of the queue or pop the first element of the queue so we will pop it using u is equal to q dot get 
So Q dot get will return the Q dot get will pop the first element of the queue. We will add the vertex U as a visited vertex. We will add the vertex U to our BFS traversal output. So this is our BFS traversal output list. And yes, so we'll append it. The next task is to explore all the adjacent vertex of U. So we can do it using for V in adjacency list of U. Now we will check whether the vertex V that is adjacent to U is visited or not visited. We can check it using if not visited V. If the vertex V is already visited, we will not we will do nothing. And if it is not visited, then we will mark it as visited. So first thing is mark the vertex V as visited equal to true. Calculate the parent of P. The parent of V will be U and the level of V will be the level of U plus 1. Now we will add the vertex V to our Q. Dot put V. Okay, so that is the algorithm and now we will train, print our output and our output should be print BFS traversal sorry output let's try to print if there is no mistake we'll get the right output okay so we are getting a b d c e f g h and that is right because first of all we will explore the node a then the neighbor of a which are b and d then the neighbor of b and d that are c e f and then g h so we implemented the bfs algorithm finally so what more can we do with that except printing of the bfs output so we can also find the shortest distance of all the node from the source node this we can simply do using our level dictionary so if we print level what we are getting is that the level of a is 0 the level of b is 1 the level of c is 2 the level of d is 1 and so on so if i simply want to know what is the distance of vertex d from source node then it should it will directly give me the output so it is giving one if i want to find the distance of vertex g from the node s or from the source vertex it is printing three so here also we can see that in one two three so minimum distance between the source vertex a and g is three okay now next thing is if i want to print out the path so now we will try to find the path from the source node to a given vertex let's assume we want to find the path from the vertex g from the source node that is a so what we will do we will use a list in which we will store the path we will run a while loop while v is not none so what we are doing first of all we will append the vertex v and then we are setting v as the parent of v and if v uh, that is enough i guess yes and since the path that we calculate will be in reverse order we will reverse it so we reverse it using path dot reverse and then we will print the path okay let's try to print the output oh, oh some error is there oh sorry so we have to use square bracket here yes so the path is a d e g let's try to see if the path is correct and how we are calculating so it is saying that the path is a d e g yes the path is correct and how we are calculating we are simply going to the vertex g appending it to the path variable path list then we are checking the parent of e 
okay if it is none no then we are going on to the parent of e that is d then we are going on to the parent of a that is null the moment we found none we will stop after that since the way we are traverse the path is in reverse order so we reverse our list and we are getting the correct required path that is a d e and g but this code will only work if your graph is fully connected if your graph is not fully connected then maybe there is no path exists for that you have to make some changes that i will leave up to you so now we have covered the theoretical as well as the practical part of the breadth of search algorithm we are able to implement it in python so now you can solve a lot of problems that are related to shortest path calculation shortest distance calculation based on this in python or in other language also thank you so if you have any doubt please ask me in the comment section i will definitely answer your question and if you have any suggestion that i can make video on that also i will look into so finally thanks a lot for watching